Now you have two tools. Now we are going to get the third tool, right? I hope now you are collecting one by one tool and you do your homework to sharpen your tool. So when you have a chance, you can use it. Okay. So today we are going to see the possible options we have to make a real async design, right? We are going to talk about polling and also we are going to talk about pushing and also we are going to talk about the stream, right? How each these we can use for uh, design a real async solution sometime you may ask okay so can you design something like this can you design something like a uber eats can you design something like a youtube comment something like that you may ask in interviews right so let's see what are the tools we have should have in our toolbox to do something like that so previous back i got a requirement do you remember the doctor who was in my myanmar video okay from him i got a requirement he asked hey krish uh, I have a requirement where when we have a power outage, I need to get an alert because the vaccination stored in uh, uh, refrigerators may get damaged because of the heat. Because uh, refrigerators doesn't work when they when don't have a power, if the generator is out, then I need to get an alert or something like that. So now, when you design a solution like this, you can do two ways, right? One, okay, one, you can install something on the refrigerator side where they push a message when the state change right let's say power out it change right it, it send the state let's say heat going up uh, for the certain threshold it send the alert for you but if you give a solution like this it's a bad solution why let's say think something like this so now power is out Heat is climbing, but for some reason your software doesn't work, or your maybe your module you put there doesn't work. Some someone has removed it. It is not there, right? So he don't send the message at all. So you think, okay, I didn't get a, a heat threshold message, so it's fine, right? I mean, I understand you can go work around with that, but ideally you can do a different solution with the polling. What it does is. It's in a given interval of time, it pull from that side, hey, what is your temperature? Because with this solution, if you see, okay, I keep getting failure for last 15 minutes, then they can give a call and do uh, see the monitoring, right? They can do the monitoring part if you go with the polling. But the disadvantage, you get, you have to send the multiple requests to other side every five minutes or whatever desired interval. But since this is a simple get request, it won't consume much bandwidth, so it would be so totally fine. Okay, so the polling. Polling is what? You time to time, based on the interval, you check. But the polling has a problem. Right? Polling has a problem. Here's the problem. Let's say, for ease of understanding, let's say you are polling every one hour. Something. Okay? So let's say some state change. You are polling every one hour. So last time you poll 4 p.m. Right? So next time you are polling at 5 p.m. Because it's a one hour. If the message arrived 4.59, you will get that message within one minute. Right? But if the message arrived at 4.01, then you get message after 59 minutes. Right? You understand the problem? So therefore, the time you get the message is always is greater than 1 minute and less than 59 minutes. Right? So therefore, you can guarantee the frequent message. In some message, you may get within 1 minute because it came just before you call. But Sometimes you get the entire polling cycle because it message arrived just after you your last poll. Okay, so therefore polling has that problem. But if it is not that much critical, if it's one hour or one minute or whatever is fine for you, you can go with the polling mechanism. All right? The implementing the polling is very simple because the both side is HTTP. You can go with the HTTP. You can this have HTTP server, so you call. A request and you get the response right the push messages is a different what the push does is next level of the http 
right? Because when you send the HTTP connection, we so in our uh, HTTP videos we discuss about this HTTP TCP videos, right? So what this does is it sends the upgrade to request, right? Upgrade to what web socket? So now what happened? You have the client and you have the server. They maintain a tunnel in between. Right, they maintain a tunnel in between. So that means there is a long live open connection. Right? So now what is the advantage? If any time server want to send the message, you can send the message. If any time server sorry, client want to send the message, you can send the message. If any time server want to send the message, you can send the message. In HTTP, you have to wait for the request to the response. Server cannot respond, server can initiate the request. Right? If the server initiates the request, server become a Requester, right? Whoever initiated the request. We discussed this in detail in the TCP uh, HTTP videos, right? So, so now what happened? You any 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 time anyone can pass the message. Doesn't matter who it is. Okay. So this is almost real time, right? This is a real time messaging using what web sockets. So now third way, maybe you have a requirement something like this. Let's say um, you ask to design a solution to trace the, their company vehicles, right? They are going to trace company vehicles. So now, when the vehicle moves, right? When the vehicle moves, we should see the location. So that means, in the real time, you should see the location. Sometimes you may miss the location one or two, but that's fine, but you need somehow get the continuous location. So we can then tell, hey, you stream the location, we can use something like a Kafka screen. Right? So your vehicle streaming the local coordination, right? And your application is completely listening to this stream and then take the coordination and put it into the map. So you can see smoothly it is going through your map. Okay? So we can use this for multiple um, use cases, but I'm, I'm in a just example I said. You can use easily that way so that in that case you can get the data. So if you ask to design a solution, design a system uh, for something like a data, you need to see some update from other system, then you can ask the counter question, okay, is it okay to have intervals, right? If it's okay to interval, you can go with the polling. Why? It's simple HTTP. Then if you need either side to initiate the message, then you can go with the push uh, approach, which is a, you use the web socket, which is the uh, either, either party can send the message, right? And otherwise, you, need, you don't need to send the message to that side, but you need to get the key puppet, one way communication. You keep need update from them. So then, then you can use a, something like a streaming. So then keep streaming the data and then you can receive the data and you can draw or you can do whatever you want with that. Then. So in the one video, you got three tools. Okay. Now, okay. We have three tools. One, we have a proxies now. Now we know how load balancers work. And now we know how we can really design async services, uh, async based services and uh, what are the tools, what are the uh, concepts we need to do that, right? So don't worry, uh, I'm trying to do practical real examples with these things, but those uh, in, during those videos, I'm not going to explain this concept, that's why I have separate conceptual videos. But if you need particular use case me to explain in a practical, just comment below, I will do that, okay? Then I will see you in the next video with the next tool, stay safe.